Hi, this is Tracy H. Dean. I want to thank you for joining me today for our Oracle and Tarot daily reading. And this reading is going to be for Thursday, July the 9th. And we're using the Earth Magic cards all this week from Stephen Farmer. And as I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. We have Cave. We have DNA, and last card is Island. Okay, somebody out there is not paying attention. The universe will continue to keep sending you a message, and this is the message, until you pass the test, until you learn the lesson. Okay, again, I can't pull these same cards week after week. I've had several weeks now where the same card popped up during the week twice. Okay? Last week it was the King of Fire, or the King, the Page of Fire twice, which was telling us to um, maybe get in touch with our inner child. It was a, a card that was playful, mischievous, and that was the tone for the weekend and how appropriate because it was a holiday weekend. Uh, this card here, Sanctuary, is popping up again. Somebody's not finding alone time for themselves. Somebody's allowing themselves to be caught up so much in the rat race out there that's watching this that they need to hear this again. You need to find somewhere that you can go on a regular basis to gather your thoughts, even if it's sitting in your car alone, okay, for a few minutes. The door is closed, the music off. Or if you're able to find a room in your home, maybe set up a corner with a table, crystals, candles, whatever it is, and make it your sanctuary. Okay, and then the next card is DNA, karma. Okay, very interesting card. I truly believe in karma. It goes around, comes around. What you put out, you get back. And this is a sign of that. Let me see what the book says about this, because this is a very interesting card. It has two snakes intertwined. Okay, and let me just let me just see what Stephen Farmer's take is. I usually do not read the books for these cards unless it's a card that I'm just not getting any information from Spirit on. Um, and this is I'm not blocked from it, but I want to see what his take is with karma. I would really like to be enlightened so to say. Okay. Okay. What he has here is karma is a concept in many Eastern religions. It is Sanskrit, word implying the greater universal laws of cause and effect. Yes, cause and effect providing an implied code of ethics within the structure of the seemingly endless cycles of birth, death, and rebirth, which we experience through our lives in many different versions. Okay, and it's also pointing out the mistaken notion about karma is that it's some kind of punishment, but it's far from that. In fact, it's the purest form. It simply asserts that our conduct in this lifetime will determine our next incarnation. Yes, that's what I was getting from it as well. Your actions, okay, there's no way to escape them. They're going to follow you, whether it's in this lifetime or the next lifetime. Okay, so be aware of your actions on this day Thursday. Okay, and we also have solitude. Okay, again, sanctuary, solitude. Do you see the theme here this week? The grounding, we began the week with grounding, okay? Now we have sanctuary and twice, and now we have solitude, island. We've got to get ourselves some quiet time and some alone time this Thursday. we got to be mindful of what our actions are because they will follow us. Wow, beautiful, beautiful island card. Solitude, solitude. I crave solitude. It's the only thing that allows me to be able to keep my sanity, <laughs> I just have to 
turn everything off and, and, and tune inward and just sit quietly because, like I said, there's just so much going on out there. There's just too many choices, too much stimulation, too many activities. And believe me, if you get caught up in the rat race, it's not a pretty sight, let's say that. Um, solitude. Can't stretch, stress it enough. Sanctuary and solitude. Let that be the theme for this Thursday. You made it this far through the week. Tomorrow is Friday. I think it's time to start relaxing on Thursday. Don't wait until the weekend. You'll thank yourself for it later. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel.